All right, here for round two. Playing against Crowley. Uh, This hand looks all right. I don't actually have any two power creatures to pair with the swipes. But I'm going to keep it. <laughs> also, we've only got one goblin and two... Uh, sacrifice effects, but that's fine. Another Tron deck, yes. Oh my god, can I just play against Tron? Oh wow, that's hella good too. Alright, I guess I'll play the conscripts. And I'll play this thing. Alright, that's not the best draw, but at least we have another two power creature. Or one two power creature to swipe something. They don't have Tron, but they do have a Prism. Alright, let's, uh, uh, alright, this is a little awkward. Well, I guess I could activate the Astrolabe if I want more snow mana. Okay, Bushwhacker is nice. It's a bit early to be playing Bushwhacker, but whatever. I'm just going to cast it. <laughs> Alright, we're dealing 8 damage. Yeah, this needs two targets, so kind of kind of weird. But hopefully they just don't play anything, and then we just kill them with these two spells. Huh? This is ah, uh, this is kind of a weird spot because if I attack and they fog, or if they have like a counter spell or something, I'm gonna wish I played the Manamorphos. But if I attack and they don't have anything, I don't know. My first instinct is to just attack and uh, and then rip off these uh, grenades. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you guys think. But I'm just going to attack and then rip off these grenades. I don't think most Tron decks play a lot of counter spells in the main. So I'm just going to grenade. See if they counter it. Okay, they do counter it. I probably should have played this first then. Condescend for two. Uh, that sucks. Alright, let's see how they scry. Alright, well in that case, I'm going to need a little extra damage. So I'm going to play the Lab. They're going to get Tron. They're probably going to play like a Dignitary or something. And I'm going to feel really bad that I didn't Manamorphose because I could have drawn Bushwhacker. But they would have countered the Bushwhacker probably, so I guess I don't feel that bad. Yeah, that's white mana. Well, I am just going to kill that before they can Ephemerate it. Because I have... Pretty sure they have more ephemerates than they have like pulse of morasses. But I mean, we'll see. I could mana morphos first and make some red. Okay, I didn't draw much. So, just gonna swipe this. And pass the turn. Alright, 
this. So they've got Tron. They've only got one color, which is... I mean, hopefully they don't have any other colors. Mnemonic wall is annoying. Getting back Pulsa Marasa. Alright, we're going to have to draw something pretty good. Bushwhacker into this. Yeah, I... I was really hoping they didn't have a Pulse Amarasa. I think these Tron lists only play like one or two. But so if I play this, I'm going to have all two power creatures and I'm going to have a three power creature. Or no, four, three, three, two. So that's eight damage. They don't actually have any pulse targets. So. I don't know. We'll see what they choose to block. But I since they've got a um the stone horn, I don't think sitting around is going to make it any better for me. I could have reckless abandoned before combat. But that still wouldn't have quite been lethal, I don't think. I would have dealt 10 damage. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to lose my next attack step. But if I draw, like, Fire Blast or something, I'm still in it. Or, like, another Goblin Grenade would be good. As long as they don't have another Condescend, you know what I mean? Alright, Burning Tree Emissary, not a good draw. Might as well just play it out anyway. Oh, well, actually, I probably should have held on to it. Just because I could use it to trigger the conscripts. But, I, I mean, as long as I don't draw land. Oh, God. Oh, no. They're going to get, like, Ghostly Flicker or something. Jesus Christ. Our opponent just had the nuts, I think, against us this game. I don't think there was really much playing around things. Ugh. Yeah, they have a ton of mana, a ton of cards, uh, card advantage even. They can pulse back their wall if they want. like they're going to and they have the infinite of wall and then flicker their stone horn every turn for the rest of the game so I am just about ready to concede I'm pretty sure there's nothing in my deck that could beat this but I guess if I rip like uh a goblin grenade or something. Alright, Searing Blaze doesn't help me. I guess I could, like, reckless abandon the wall? Or the stone horn. But they have a pulse, they could get it back. I'm just gonna concede. Move on to the next one. So, I... What did I do last time? I took out all the swipes. And I think I took out all the astrolabes and the searing blaze. So that's a lot of cards to cut. <laughs> Holy cow. I think I boarded in the smash to smithereens. You know, it's not always guaranteed to hit, but I feel like all the best Tron draws have at least one... Astrolabe or Prophetic Prism. And sometimes you can like snipe a map on turn two, which obviously feels really good. All right, we're not going to be sniping any maps, but this hand looks 
absolutely gas. This is the kind of hand you want to draw. We're going to put seven power on the board on turn two and then kick a bushwhacker. Yeah, I think Mikey Ruru said that Goblin Bushwhacker is just the best card in this deck and this deck can't win without it. And I don't think that's true, but I do think the card is the best card in the deck. Ooh. Oh, I was just wondering what I would do if I drew Smash to Smithereens. Well, I'm definitely playing Burning Tree Emissary. I think I'm going to snipe it. It's really important as a Tron player to hit all your land drops. And this slows me down a little bit, but I think it slows them down more. And, you know, if I draw another Smash to Smithereens off the top, then I want to have targets for that one, too. All right, I'll just play a Hellraiser. And I guess I play out a land. Yeah, I might as well. This plays better around Condescend, and it plays better around me drawing another one drop. So, do we have lethal? We're going to have 8 power plus 4. Yeah, so that's lethal. Our opponent does have to do something here. They could have Hydro Blast, which would be pretty big. So, I am going to play Echo Cost. Yeah. So I guess if I play this other land out, I uh, they could have Forest Spike. That's kind of niche, but I'm going to just play this and hope it works. <laughs> it's kind of Red Deck wins MO is just play out all your stuff, hope it works. All right, they do have a Hydro, it looks like. Yeah. All right, well... It's kind of what you expect. But we got our opponent down to 4, and a lot of our cards will deal 4 damage. So hopefully this is good. All right, they don't have any stone horns. I mean, I'm just going to attack for lethal. They have to fog me and then have another Hydro Blast. Alright, so they do have a fog. And I will just do this. Alright. So I think our sideboard plan's pretty good. I don't know if I want to change anything on the play versus on the draw. But I think all of our cards are good enough. We haven't seen Curse of the Pierce chart yet, which is something I really want to see. But, I don't know, maybe it's actually too slow against Tron, because they have, like, Hydro Blast and Pulse of Marasa. Not sure if we're going to find out either. <laughs> mm. 
Like, they're a slow deck, but they're also kind of fat. Like, they have a lot of ways to draw and fetch up Pulsamarasa. And maybe the C Curse of the Pierced Heart is just worse than, like, a random Astrolabe, even. Alright, we're gonna rip off this Foundry Street Denizen. So I'm not sure what deals more damage. Okay. So I guess I'll play this. If they have a Hydroblast and they get my Mana Morphos, then good for them. They didn't get any of my creatures, but yeah, they do have a Hydroblast, they're thinking. Or they have a Condescend, maybe? I. I imagine they probably cited out a lot of condescends. Hmm. I mean, it feels like they have a counter spell. And I do want to use this red blast for something. But if they counter my Hellraiser, that means I don't have to pay Echo costs. Alright. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Obviously, we need to be doing a lot more damage, but if we can get them down to what uh nine damage nine health okay well, i'm gonna play that first i will pyroblast this one to try and force through damage or will i yeah i'll I'll do it. It's kind of ugly, but I think it'll work, hopefully. Hopefully they don't have another land. That would really suck. Okay, they don't have another land, and they're evoking a Mold Drifter. Oh no, they're flickering? Wow. That's so bad. It might be good enough, though, if they have another Hydro Blast. Okay, Astrolabe's pretty good. So if they haven't drawn the land, they're likely to have a land by the next draw step. So I'll pay Echo. And this deals two extra damage. So they'll be at 12. I'm one short on lethal. But they don't have any counter spells up, so I'm wondering if I should just rip it off. You know what I mean? I've been saying rip it off. I I, I should change up my uh, my vocabulary. If I'd drawn Burning Tree Emissary there, that still wouldn't have won me the game because I'd been short on red. But well, one thing's for sure: I'm playing this. So I'm I'm one short. God damn, this is tough. Now I'll just wait. Basically, my hope is that since they've used up two Hydroblasts... Oh, wow, they didn't draw land again. That sucks. That really sucks. This is what happens with Tron sometimes, though. You just don't, you know, draw enough lands, and you've got a bunch of four drops or five drops in your hand. Ugh. Wow, that's... 
All right, I feel a little bad now. All right, so this should be lethal, right? I don't know. I didn't really count, but... I guess if they have another Hydro Blast, it's not... Well, I'll, uh, I'll Fire Blast first, I guess. Maybe they counter it? Okay, they didn't. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did the old mistake. Oh, that doesn't work. I can't sack it. Oh, well. <sighs> so, yeah. Pretty clear uh, F6 at the end there. I think my opponent was just frustrated, and they probably kept a pretty good hand because, you know, they had double Hydro Blast, multiple Astrolabes, but they just didn't draw any more lands. And it sucks, but, you know, sometimes you just get unlucky. Anyway, thanks for watching.